depending on our demand. Sometimes car power does as high as 450, 350, 250, you know, depending. So, but as it is here, it's available to go full capacity based on demand uh, supply, you know, uh, scenario. So I think it is, uh, we are on course. <laughs> if contractors are being paid for work done, you know, clients must also uh, have the benefit of uh, a delay because every single day that a project is delayed, it costs government of Ghana. And that is why projects make allowances for liquidated damages. And so, of course, I asked that we, we looked into that. And that's the only thing that can push them to uh, double up. Because if we quantified uh, the delay on a daily basis and, and then slash it against uh, their um, uh, revenue or whatever they're going to get from it, of course, it will enable them to fast track. And that's why I directed that uh, they should examine the contract for possible liquidated uh, damages, if any, to be applied against the, uh, the contractor that may be delaying uh, the project. You know, Ghana Gas is of the view that certain things need to be done before I can take uh, a full possession. We think that this is not a final completion, this is a practical completion which gives allowance for a uh, defailability period. So during those defailability periods, any uh, defer that okay, you know, defer that okay within that period can be corrected. So they can go ahead and, and then take uh, uh, handing over at that period, whilst other issues are dealt with. And so these are things that we, we have. But I am just been told that uh, he and I have agreed for provisional, you know, uh, handing over. So uh, that has been solved now. Okay. Um, the, the beauty of this project is that we are not going to, you see, if we transport gas from Takrade to Tema, it's going to cost about $2.1 per MMB to you. Over a period of a, a year, that's so much. One month is going to cost about $50 million. But if you bring a plant here to where the gas is, the cost of transportation alone, it's minimized. And that is the main agenda of government, to reduce cost of transportation, because the transportation cost goes to WAPI. We are using the WAPI line. And uh, that is so that cost, of course, is going to be out. And again, if you move away from the heavy fuel, which is more expensive to gas, which is a cheaper and cleaner fuel, it also brings the, the, the cost down. You recollect recently uh, the uh, PRSU in their analysis of the recent 11.7% increase or so. It was going to go quite higher than that. I did not be some engineering being done by government. So all these are uh, effort government is putting in place to make sure that we have flexible, affordable, and stable, you know, power supply for Ghanaians. Now, you can all see and enjoy the stability of power. You know, unfortunately, Ghanaians, when the power is stable, everybody forgets. But, so I think give us also some credit. You know, give Ghana government a credit for all that we're doing. This is the first time in the history of this country that, under His Excellency, Danado Dabu Akufaro, you have enjoyed such a stable power regime in the country. And it's going to continue all of this. Businesses are going to flourish because of the power that we are giving to Ghanaians.